It is the reunion we have been waiting for. The gang from the beloved sitcom Welcome Back Cotter. Well, they're back together. And we know one of the sweat hogs graduated to become a big Hollywood star. You know who that is. But what about the rest of the talented cast that brought us so many laughs? Sorry, Chris Conley. You got a chance to sit down. Give us a lowdown, Chris. Indeed, I did, Robin. You know, last night's taping of the TV Land Awards saw the Sweat Hogs and those who loved them back together again. An opportunity to look back at a sitcom that launched a superstar and a series of smart aleck remarks. Oh! Oh! oh. Up your nose with a rubber hose. I got a note. <laughs> Hi there. It brought catchphrases to classrooms coast to coast. Welcome back. Your dreams were your ticket out. Showcased the era's most irresistible theme song. To that same old place that you laughed about. And was the TV birthplace of a future Hollywood superstar. Due to my stupefying talent with females of the opposite sex. <laughs> Thanks to the hyperactive hips of lovable sort of bad boy, Vinnie Barbarino. Yeah, yeah. Sunday night saw John Travolta and the rest of the Welcome Back Cotter cast, sweat hogs and all, reunited for a 35th anniversary tribute on the TV Land Awards. Bar none, this is absolutely the coolest night in television. A chance to revel in the buzz that was back in the late 70s. I've waited 35 years to thank this man. And I never got to publicly thank Gabe for his genius, his, his putting us on the map. You know, we all wouldn't be here today without, without uh, Gabe. This guys. is based on your life. What yeah. is it? Why do you think people have such affection for this show 35 years later? There's a horse shack of Barbarino and FC in Washington in every class. You never talked about this, mm -hmm. but it was like these four guys from yeah. divergent ethnic backgrounds were the best of friends. My daughter even said the other, she said, you know, this show is as funny as anything we've ever seen today. It looks like it was made yesterday. I said, honey, that's called timeless. Yeah. That's yeah. called classic. Except for the clothes. Except for the clothes. <laughs> well, no, but and even the clothes are all back. Yeah. The are all <laughs> John, would you let your daughter date a sweat hog? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> Without parental approval, the sweat hogs, remedial students in Mr. Cotter's high school class, nonetheless found their way into millions of young hearts. And Travolta's Barbarino found his way into a little gold lame. So come on, that gold lame outfit. <laughs> Hot. Oh yeah. How did it feel coming out in that thing and dancing around Hot. a little? <laughs> Literally. I don't care what the white man says. The sweat hog's antics could raise some temperatures on the set too. Nobody's gonna make me crazy, understand that? Nobody's gonna make me crazy. I think we made him crazy. We were in character for five years and we gave everybody trouble. Yeah, man. Yeah. All the, the guest stars, the, 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 the directors, the the producers, we annoyed them constantly, but that was part of our job. You they did a lovely job. Screaming from the set, some of the directors. They, the directors would go screaming oh, from the set. Some wouldn't work we with had us again. One director <laughs> running from the rehearsal room screaming, <laughs> they're animals, and run out of the stage. And no as my sister what. said in an earlier time, she said it was like being a daycare. We thought all sitcoms was that way. Yeah. And sometimes, like, John and I, Bob, we would go over to another set and watch them shoot, and they were real serious, <laughs> man. <laughs> but from I Robert Hedges as Epstein to Lawrence Hilton Jacobs as Boom Boom Washington, it was clear this sitcom was the chance of a lifetime. What did you guys get to do on this show that you couldn't have done on any other show, Bobby? Pay our rent regularly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, food shopping we were all regularly. Poor. We were pretty poor when we that got on the show. That was a Marsha, everybody was coming to your parents' house just Every, to be able to him. eat? Mostly he me. lived in the apartment underneath my parents' apartment. <clears throat> and I would walk in the front door and I'd look and there'd be this body. The refrigerator <laughs> door would be open and there would be this body oh, her standing parents were like in front my of the West Coast refrigerator. Parents and I was and very he attached would be to my in family. their refrigerator. It, it, Did you have a favorite dish, John? A nice piece of chicken with a nice piece of chicken. <laughs> you guys really stick together, don't you? Mm -hmm. Still, the sheer speed of the show's success caught them all by surprise. 
John and I used to go out to eat a lot, so there's pigs in them. We still are, and that hasn't changed. But <laughs> well we, fed. There's nothing wrong well with being well fed and, and loving it to death. Well fed and well. But we used to go to the farmers market, and one Saturday oh, yeah. we went to the farmers market, and just you and I were hanging out, and it's like on cue, everybody just converged on us, yes. and we wound up running back to the car. Yeah, it was Beatles you know, time. We, we, you know. It was blew our mind. You know? Did you, you know, know it was going to be like that from now on? Well, I don't think well, you, you ever imagined it would be that. Way. I didn't think we thought we'd have that. That uh, that a kind of a rock star effect, and then people were coming to my, to our home in New Jersey, taking pieces off the house. Wow! I mean, it, yeah. it really it escalated. It wow. was really, but it, it's like a wave, and, and I don't think you expect it. And then all of a sudden, wow! While the Wait show featured now. this appearance from a again. youthful James Woods, Gabe Kaplan's comedic idol, the legendary Groucho Marx, was the cameo that almost was, as Marcia Strassman fondly recalls. Groucho was gonna do a right. piece at the end of the show. Gabe was gonna fall asleep on the couch and have a dream about Groucho and Groucho and I were gonna dance. And I was heartbroken when it didn't happen. How did this show change your lives? Oh gosh, oh, well, that's, that's, put us that's, on the map. That's All of us. Yeah. That's, that's All of us. My reality yeah. far exceeded my dreams when this thing came along. It just did. Not a soul to get what we do. Is this an experience that you still treasure, you still look back on? Oh, it's a lifeline. It's a yeah. lifelong thing, Absolutely. of course, man. Why is it so special for you, even now, 35 years ago? Because later? we're still friends. We genuinely and love we, each other. And we love each other. And we got lucky. Not, not every show is as lucky as we were. There's an honest affection in our group, you know. And we, we had, really we had a lot of fun. Too. We really, we every fun. week, we really had a lot of fun. <laughs> Ron Palillo, who played Horshack, said to be under the weather and not in attendance. But what a great night, boy. They just they just really appreciate each other's company, Robin, in mm -hmm. a major way. Oh, wonderful ensemble cast. And I forgot that John's sister, Ellen. Played Horshack's mother. Can you Completely, believe it? There's yeah. enough, there, was, uh, there was lots of work for everybody on that show. It was it, terrific. It really seems that they genuinely care for one another. And John, who's had more of a career in some ways, how generous he is with them and making sure that they get their due. 